This is Steve from This Week With Cars and it is third time a charm. I just got a box in the mail and this should be a match set of ECU, BCU, and instrument cluster for Land Rover Discovery. I'm gonna throw these in here. Okay, there's the instrument cluster. I don't think I need to install this at first. That will be only to sync up the odometers. And the ECU and BCUs. So I'm gonna get these thrown in and see what happens. Okay, I've got the new ECU and BCU installed. Uh, you can see the light is flashing there. So, Hey, what does that mean? All right, the battery may have been dead. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay, and let's see if it starts. And it doesn't do anything. Uh, that red light that's on, I think that means the security system is on. So, Let's uh, hook up the Nanocom and see what's going on there. Okay, I used the Nanocom to disable the alarm, I believe. So, let's see what happens now. Well, I don't know if the battery is just dead or... There's another issue of being able to start this. It's like I'm gonna look back in the Nanocom real quick. Okay. Okay, I've got the battery charger on it now. It seems like the battery was dead. Uh, okay, let's try this again. Holy cow. Can you believe that? After all this time, this thing's actually running. Uh, it's not without its problems or uh, blinking that could be due to the low battery and I do have it in neutral so that seems like that might be about right we put it in reverse it does go backwards it does go forward so the transmission does seem to know about what gear it's in it seems like that one is still a little bit finicky But I, I uh, did have it in neutral to be able to start the engine. So there's obviously some adjustments I need to make there. But uh, this thing is running. It sounds good. And uh, that's amazing. All right, since it runs now, I'm gonna replace the instrument panel too, just for the heck of it. To do that, push the button on the side, pull your steering wheel down, and you have access to the two little screw holes right there. Okay, I've got the, the two screws down here loose. Let's see if this will... Alright, so there are some clips there at the top. Got some wiring attached to it. You can see there's two screws on that side, two screws on that side. They hold the instrument panel on and a couple of wire harnesses up at the top. So I'll get this out and uh, install the new one. All right, I haven't put the last screws in yet. I wanted to test this, make sure that it works before I put these last two screws down here in. Okay, I think what I'm actually gonna do is just turn off the flashing. Well, let's try to program the odometer. Okay, sync odometer to BCU. I think that's what I want to do. Let's try that. Hmm. Odometer arrow warning. Okay, let's turn that off. 
write those settings. All right. Oop. Well, I got the Land Rover running and the transmission feels pretty sluggish. So I've got it here up on the lift. I'm gonna drain the transmission fluid and fill it back up, see if that makes a difference. To do the transmission fluid on this vehicle, this is the drain plug right here. This is the fill plug. So you just fill it up until it starts to come out there. Uh, start the vehicle, run it back and forth just slightly to get the pressures up and uh, put your plug back in and you're good to go. Okay, I have the drain plug out of the bottom. You can see all the oil is draining out. I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit and I'm gonna put the drain plug back in. All right, I filled the transmission till the fluid is just coming out of the fill hole there. Now I'm gonna start the engine and let it warm up uh, and then I'll check it again with the engine running and make sure that the level is set. Okay, the truck's running now, and as you can see, there's no fluid coming out, so I'm gonna add fluid until it comes out about one drop a second. I drove it home, and on my way home, uh, the brakes went completely out on me. I was pushing them pretty hard. I wanted to uh, get, get the all the brakes cleaned up, and looks like the brake line has just completely rusted and disintegrated. Uh, when I touched it, it just fell apart into pieces. So I'm gonna try to get it loose here at the hose and install a new brake line up as far as we need to go to uh, fix this. I'm driving the Land Rover around right now. The transmission is still stuck in limp mode. So right now I only have third gear, but really, as long as you're not on the interstate, it's fine. The transmission is blinking the drive light. You can't see that right now. A few other things I forgot to mention. Uh, the first time I drove this just straight out of the garage, uh, the steering was very, very chunky. Uh, would make probably increments of about an eighth of the steering wheel and it would just uh, be really chunky going uh, turning it and that's because both of the u-joints under the hood of the steering had completely rusted so I uh, lubricated those it's getting a lot better the steering is actually quite smooth now uh, I think I do need to go get this aligned um, it had been parked for so long that when I took the wheels off to bleed the brakes and uh, to take a look at what had happened there, I had to use a big sledgehammer to knock the wheels off, uh, which was a huge pain. I had to clean up all that, cleaned up the hub, uh, put ANICs on everything, lug nuts. Um, so, uh, a lot of work that I had to do to get this thing running. Uh, especially with having to buy two ECUs and two BCUs, as well as I have an XYZ switch on its way. I'm buying one of those used off of eBay. We'll see if that fixes things. Uh, and I think that I need to adjust the shift linkage as well, because it doesn't seem to click in the park properly all the time. Um, so, if you like these videos, click subscribe below and I'll do more videos like this.